Here uh, we are demonstrating a simple technique, we call it electrohydrodynamic jet formation technology, which is in simple word called each spinning, more popularly we call it. So in this process what happens is we have any formulation we can design our own that we call as an ink. And that ink is jetted under electric field and then it undergoes a lot of um, uh, instable phenomena and then gets collected on a collector. So he, you can see here a static collector. Alternatively, we can also do the same collections but on a rotating collector that we have designed ourselves from all scrap computer parts. One of my graduate students has designed this. Using these, we make materials such as scaffold that you can see here. This is the scaffold on which we can grow skin or in other words, cells and tissues. For example, if you want to grow heart cells, these materials will be one type. If you want to grow neuron cells, we have to have a material that has axon potentials mimicking spots and neurotransmitter printed in them. So all these projects are largely conducted in my lab by my PhD students, masters and undergraduate students with the help of high school students at the University of Bridgeport. You can see in my hand, I'm holding some microchips and these microchips has digitized pattern on it. On those patterns, we group our nanoscale structures. Then using this, we can determine the marker for heart disease. We can determine the marker for cancer disease. We have a state grant in collaboration with Wesleyan where we are trying to use this particular chip that we design to measure very specifically and with a very given quantity, very little amount, the marker for colorectal cancer. And several of my students basically are working on this project to lay down these selective area depositions, nanoscale structures to understand that mismatch repair protein function. I am very fortunate uh, as a faculty to have some excellent student. Um, they are, as I said, undergraduate students, master students and PhD students to make this wonderful biomedical innovations, nanotechnological applications right here at the University of Bridgeport, right in this lab. And I am very proud to have this group of people to work in my group.